my name is Boyan. Um, this uh, project titles uh, Point Clouds Object Recognition Based on Support Vector Machine. And uh, I'll briefly into, uh, introduce the background information. Um, point Cloud Data is, uh, is, is a set of vertices in 3D um, coordinate system. And usually it's, uh, it processes the uh, X, Y, Z um, values and sometimes the RGB values. In the industrial, um, laser scanner device is uh, usually used uh, to collect the point cloud data. And for this project, I use uh, Microsoft Kinect to collect RGB um, data. Um, for the application, usually um, in robotics, um, it could be used for object, uh, object recognition. And uh, in computational geometry, it can also be used for surface reconstruction. And then following by the um, further uh, analysis and uh, some simulation. And uh, this is my uh, classification framework. And uh, first, uh, I will do the data collection from 12 point clouds of uh, indoor uh, office environment. Uh, with, uh, of course, the point cloud data with uh, RGB data uh, value and uh, depth value uh, due to the 3D um, sensor. And uh, there were, uh, there were my objects to be uh, my uh, common objects to be recognized, uh, like floor and desktop, uh, laptop and cup, and so on and so forth. And after data collection, it will be uh, pre-processing um, of the data. Uh, your, uh, it's for uh, dump sampling to reduce the sample size, and then registration. And next, um, yeah, this is a uh, dump sampling, and uh, since the Resolution of uh, Kinect is uh, 640 by um, 488. I will collect the data and then um, do the down sampling to randomly cho uh, to choose uh, uh, 10 pixel by 10 pixel and uh, choose e each 10 pixel by uh, 10 pixel as a cell and choose maximum one point in this in this cell. And after the down sampling, it usually is a uh, thousand or two thousand points in the in the single um, image. And then the registration process is uh, it uh, employs the iterative plot, uh, closest uh, point. Um, it uh, actually um, take uh, take as input two single um, image frame and then um, iteratively, iteratively um, uh, process this this uh, two single images to calculate uh, to find the, the minimum um, distance between two point clouds. And uh, this is the registration results. And uh, after the registration is uh, it's, it's the labeling and classification. Um, labeling is, uh, is part of the, tra uh, the training data preparation. This, uh, this part is manually, it's, uh, it's for the user to define the surface, uh, to define the, the group of point clouds um, and uh, label it uh, as the user's uh, expectation. And then I use I use support vector machine to uh, class classify these different layers. On uh, this part, the SVM code uh, take as input the features extracted from the training data set, and then uh, and then trains a multi-class support, uh, support vector machine. And after that, um, it will take uh, take as input features extracted from the uh, from the testing data set, and then to uh, find and then uh, find the um, the certain certain feature uh, from the different uh, testing feature and classify each of them. And uh, the last step is uh, is uh, is a uh, is take as input from the from the user label and to find the the, the ID at, uh, of the test feature at the output. And uh, here's the results of the of the nine different objects. And uh, um, Yuri, from the results, uh, I can see uh, is uh, um, for the planar surface, the result, the accuracy is much better than the, the uh, complex geometry, and, uh, and I should do I should do some 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 other algorithm to compare with the SVM results, and uh, it will list at the future work. <laughs>